Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. If you guys have been following along with my most recent videos, you might have noticed I've been doing a lot of DIYs that are perfect for outdoor spaces. And today is a really exciting day because we're actually putting it all together and making over my balcony space. This is actually the last place in my apartment that I have to complete and I'm super excited because the weather's getting really nice outside so I just wanna sit outdoors, drink my tea, water my plants and just be outside in general so I'm really excited to bring you guys along this journey and I have to give a huge thank you to Microsoft Edge for sponsoring today's video I've worked with them in the past and they're such a great resource to use especially if you're making over a space or just making any large purchases I'm going to show you guys how I use Microsoft Edge to plan out my whole design as well as save some time and money in the process so I'm really excited to walk you guys through that a little bit later on in the video but before we start don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. So to start this video, let's go ahead and jump back to a few weeks ago and take a look at the before of the balcony. All right, so I'm going to take you guys outside onto my balcony, but I will warn you guys that I did not clean this up and I made a bit of a mess outside. I hope you can't hear the birds. And I was also repotting some plants, so there is dirt on the floor right now. So this will make a better before and after, but know that it is usually not this bad out. So let me flip the camera around and show you guys. Okay, so starting with this little corner, it is definitely the messiest corner, but also the most beautiful view. So as I mentioned, I have soil kind of everywhere. I need to clean that up. And I just have a bunch of random boxes, as you do. Wood pieces, sandpaper, just stuff that I did not clean because I was too lazy to. And then we also have my shelf over here, which I'm in love with. I got this secondhand off of OfferUp. But the funny thing is the owner didn't have the shelves in here. I believe it was glass before. So we're going to have to DIY something to put this into. Oh my god, all the birds so loud. Please be quiet. So here I have my burrow's tail. I don't know if you guys remember, I actually bought this when I first moved in. It was struggling a little bit, but now that it's been super sunny, it's been growing a lot and it makes me so happy just looking at it. So I'm excited to make this my little plant shelf right here. And then as we pan over, I have a few more boxes over here as well as an Ikea patio set. This is pretty cheap. I feel like everyone and their mom has it. I actually can see some of my neighbors have the same set. This thing is just great if you need a small setup for a great price. I'll have it linked down below. This is a great spot, especially if you want to eat breakfast in the morning or eat dinners out here. And I love this thing. Also, can we talk about this plant? I forced it to be an outdoor plant. I don't think it likes it. I think it's getting burnt. I asked people on Instagram what their thoughts are and they definitely said to move it inside. So sadly, I will move it inside. I think it'll be a lot happier there, but if you guys caught this DIY, I actually made this several months ago and it has lasted great, especially being outdoors. All the paint is perfect still. That is it for this corner. And over here we have my beloved planter. I still love this thing so much. I need to get some plants in here. I'm really excited to style it up. I really love the design on this and I think it's gonna add a nice pattern to our boho balcony. And I'm super excited to put some new plants in there. I know it's very cloudy today, but we do have a beautiful view of the mountains and we watch the sunset all the time right over there. We do have this giant roof, which I wish wasn't there, but ignore that and just look at that. <laughs> All right, and with any makeover, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this and clearing everything out. Hello from VoiceOver Tina. I cannot believe we are basically completing my apartment with this makeover. This balcony has been a great space for working on DIYs, but now that I've completed a lot of my bigger projects, I'm excited just to have the space to relax and enjoy being outside. One of the biggest reasons why we got this apartment was for the balcony and this gorgeous view, so I'm so ready to make this my outdoor oasis. All right, so now that the balcony is all clean, I wanted to walk you guys through a little bit of my vision and how I plan out this whole makeover. So I'm using Microsoft Edge to organize everything for this project, and I've actually teamed up with them before on my first makeover in this apartment. So I really love using the browser to plan out bigger makeovers, but I also use it to plan out trips as well as Christmas shopping, as you guys seen in the past. And they just have so many great tools, and I'm really excited to share with you guys them today. Microsoft Edge is the only browser with built-in tools to help you save time and money while shopping online. Online, and they have great features like coupons, proactive price comparison, and their newest features with cashback and rebate to help you guys save on thousands of sites. 
One of my favorite features on Edge is collections and I've actually been using it since last year and it's been such a lifesaver. I especially love it for saving inspiration photos. So at the top of my balcony makeover collection, I have this inspo photo as a reference and this is really gonna help me while I shop around. I wanna be able to enjoy the space at nighttime so I love all the soft lighting that's going on here as well as the neutral tones. You can also add in running notes into each collection. So of course I'm gonna add in my dimensions as well as a shopping list for reference when I'm out and about using their mobile version. And of course I'm also going to DIY a bunch of things. So here's my list of DIYs to complete for this space. And a major part of this makeover is adding in a bunch of plants. So I just bookmarked a few plant pages with types of plants that I should be looking for. I have west facing windows with direct sunlight in the evening. So these vlogs were super helpful to reference back to. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I find at the plant store. And as I'm shopping around, I also like to add in product pages to my collections and that way I can compare them and organize them. This has been especially helpful when I have multiple options of the same item. So I found a couple outdoor rugs on various sites and I'm able to easily compare them side by side within my collections. When I'm ready to check out, Edge actually has built-in coupons. So instead of searching for a bunch of coupon codes online, it'll actually show you the coupons and automatically apply it to your cart. And this is just super handy to save time and money for all of your online online shopping needs. And the best part is all these tools are free to use within the Microsoft Edge browser. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, make sure that you click on the link down below in my description box. Okay, so now it's time to make this vision come to life. So let's go ahead and start DIYing some items. For my first DIY project, we're gonna work on this shelf and I actually am going to do a whole video on it. So if you guys missed it, make sure that you go back and watch it. So my current plan is just to get some wood to cover the inside here and then turn this into a plant shelf and it should not be too difficult. So let's go ahead and get to DIYing. <music> For these shelves, my original plan was to use plywood and cut them to size at Home Depot, but their cutting machine was out of service, so I opted to cut my own boards at home. With my staple gun, I wrapped burlap around them to create a woven rattan look, and I really love how this came out. I also considered painting the shelves, but by popular vote on Instagram, you guys said to keep it black, so I left them alone, and I'm really glad that I did. The natural texture from the burlap against the black metal frame gives it such a beautiful modern boho look. This is actually quite the journey to complete, so if you guys want to watch the vlog on these, I will have it linked down below. It's a super exciting day because our rug just came in, so I'm going to put that down today. But something even more exciting came in the mail today, and can you see it? Ah! I cannot believe that I have one of these. Oh my gosh. I have no words. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this as a mirror, even though it's kind of like a funhouse mirror. I just posted a picture on Instagram with it, and I wrote in my caption that this plaque is for all of us. And when I wrote that, I truly mean it. This is just a celebration of creativity and just following after your passion. So thank you guys so much for supporting. I literally cannot believe I have one. I'm gonna need to find the perfect place for it, but I just wanted to share that really quick on camera, and yeah, thank you. Okay, apologies for all of the weird shadows, but I think this looks really great. I love the pattern on this. It feels really nice on my feet, and I think it just adds so much warmth. Everything's so gray. You guys can see there's gray everywhere. So this is a really good addition, and I would highly recommend an outdoor rug if you guys want to change up your space. The next thing I want to do is to cover this whole railing. So we're going to do a big DIY here. I know it's gonna take me a while, so let's go ahead and get started. My plan for this DIY was basically to create a macrame curtain slash banner to cover the railing. My balcony is about nine feet long, so I took my macrame to measure out the length and then cut it to size with extra room on both sides. The height was about 45 inches, so I basically doubled that, and then I added on a few more inches, but there really is no exact measurement for this. To start this project, I'm taking my macrame cord, which is the length of the balcony, and I'm gonna lay that horizontally and secure it with some binder clips. This is going to be our base cord, so all of our other cords are wrapping around this. My working cords ended up being almost 100 inches, so those are really long, but I'm just gonna take those and do a lark's head knot, also known as a cow hitch knot, across the top. 
And all we're going to do is to create a row of square knots to create a triangular shape. So to start, I'm going to group together four chords. Then with the chord on the right, I'm going to create a backwards four. And with the chord on the left, I'm going to place it right on top of it and then loop it through the hole and then pull upwards. And as you can see, these are basically wrapping around the middle two chords to create the first half of our square knot. Then I'm going to repeat that, but this time we're going to do it with the left chord. So I'm going to create a four and then place the right chord on top and then loop it through to complete our square knot. Now I'm going to repeat that across the first row, giving us eight square knots in total. And this is a very basic knot that you can create so many different designs with. If you're new to macrame, I'll have a couple of resources down below so that you guys can learn this more easily. But I would have to say that this knot actually looks more complicated than it is to do. So you guys can totally do this project. And you'll see that at first I did 12 of these, but it wasn't long enough, so I added on four more for a total of 16 knots across. As you move down each row, you're basically just gonna remove two chords on the left and then two chords on the right side, and then just start another row of square knots. This is gonna create a nice V-shaped design, so with each new row, we're just gonna keep removing those chords to taper it down. And once you get down to one square knot at the bottom, our first little section is done. And all I'm gonna do is add a bead to the top and then basically repeat this whole process until we go down the entire length of the rope. Essentially, we're creating a banner. And since there are so many of these to do, I wanted to keep it quick and simple and relatively fast to do. I know this project is a big one, so I broke it down into a couple of hours over the course of a couple of days to complete. This is gonna be a great way to cover my balcony to provide some shade for my plants, but also add a bit more privacy while adding in lots of boho style to the space. Welcome to another day of this makeover. Today is plant day and I'm basically just gonna go over to my local plant shop. It's one of my favorite plant shops in LA and they have really reasonable prices, so I love going there. And basically about half of the decor on the balcony are plants, so I'm going to buy a bunch of them today. So let's head out and see what we can find. God. Okay, so there's a helicopter. I hope you guys can hear me, but Brian is really good at spotting celebrities, even with their masks on. And we're at my favorite plant store right now, and he just spotted Sean White. And I literally was like, no, that's not him, but then he confirmed that that was him, and that's so crazy. Only in LA. <laughs> So here's a little bit of a plant haul. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of different types of succulents and I also picked up a couple of cacti. I picked up the spring cactus because it reminds me of the Christmas cactus that my mom bought. So I love that. Wait, is this a bloom? Oh, no, it's just a flower. <laughs> I bought this one a couple weeks ago, but it is a Tradescantia zebrina and look how purple these leaves are. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I also found this bigger cactus at Home Depot and then a string of bananas because I love these. These are just so great and fast growers. So I'm excited to have this in my collection again. And as you can tell, I just got plants that love the sun because there's just so much bright west facing direct light here. So I think that they're really gonna thrive on the balcony. And then over here, I have all of my pots. So I have a couple of DIYs over here and then I have some that are from local shops. They all need to be filled. Oh, and I also just got these ones. These are from Target and, oops, they are from the Hilton Carter collection. These are really cute. I mean, look at this wall planter. How cute is that? You guys know I love my plants and I think that they add so much life into any space, whether it's indoors or outdoors. And if you plan on moving any of your indoor plants outside, make sure that you give them some time to acclimate to the weather so you can place them outside during the day and then move them inside at nighttime for the first week or so. 
Having plants outdoors is actually very new to me, so I'm super excited to add in all these new plant babies to my collection. Being from Chicago, I always had issues with cacti and succulents because my place just did not get enough light. For the most part, I could keep them alive, but my succulents would always become super stretched out, especially in the winter months. And now living in LA, I know that these sun-loving plants are going to thrive here on my balcony. You guys, I finally just finished my macrame piece and it literally took so long, but I ended up doing about 10 of these all together. I finished a whole spool of this macrame and then I had to get another one. So this one is almost done as well. So if you guys are planning to do this project, definitely buy more than you think that you need. This is basically the finishing piece that I need. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything together and start styling. For this shelf, we're gonna fill the whole entire thing up with some new plants as well as bringing out a couple of my indoor ones. I really wanted this to feel like a lush green space, so I added in as many as possible. And I'm so glad that I have this little palm here because I think it adds in a nice tropical feel. And I also filled up our DIY tile planter to mix in some larger plants to the space. And I'm keeping the patio table quite minimal so that there's plenty of room for us to work and enjoy meals al fresco. Now it's time to put up our macrame curtain and I use zip ties to keep everything in place. This worked out so perfectly just to add in some privacy and style. I also trimmed the bottom in varying heights just to give it more of an organic feel. And I had to add a little poof and a lantern out here. I think it creates such a nice little corner to sit and relax. And of course, no outdoor space is complete without some lighting, so I added in these string lights with some zip ties. String lights can totally transform a space and create a really nice ambient mood, and I feel like they just make any space just feel so much more magical at nighttime. Okay guys, so the moment you've all been waiting for, it is time for the reveal. But before I show it to you guys, of course we have to do a little before. My balcony was a complete mess and it was pretty blank and empty. It was really gray and plain and now we've added some DIYs and some color to it and I absolutely love how it turned out, so let's go ahead and take a look at the after. I'm so in love with my new balcony and I've just been spending so much time outside and it just makes me super happy. So I hope this makeover inspires you guys to get outside and just redo your outdoor space because it is totally a mood changer. And I could not have completed this space without the help of Microsoft Edge. So if you guys are interested in checking out the browser, make sure that you click on the link down below so that you could download it and use all of their free tools. And let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part of this makeover or which DIY you guys liked the best. I know the space is just gonna continue to evolve as we jump into summer. So if you guys want to keep up with updates on this space, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I post on there every single day. Thank you guys all so much for joining me on this makeover journey. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!